this happened when I was in the eighth grade. This was the day me and my group of friends became fucking legends at our middle school. Now, the real James Peso is actually involved in this story. He has a really funny part in this story. But bear with me. So it's the eighth grade, right? And let's I'm gonna be real with you guys throughout this entire story. And the eighth grade is probably well, at least for me, is where you kind of just start figuring out who you are and shit. And you just kind of become a little shit. In the eighth grade, I was, like, really into MMA. And, like, really into, like, rap and, like, metal. And, like, just doing some fuckboy-ass shit. Hot boy shit is what I like to call it. And it was just one of those things where I kind of feel like at that age, I was just... I was too much. I was such, I was an asshole, and like every time I got with my friends, we just always trouble just always happened. So I'll never forget it. I'm in math class, right? And this boy comes and talks to me, right? His name is Leo. He's a part of part of my squad, right? Leo, he's black, and he's actually in a gang. So let me tell you something about gangs in my middle school. Everyone is a fucking fraud and a fucking poser when it comes to gang. You ask somebody, oh, what do you bang? Or, oh, are you a blood? Are you a crip? Are you a norteño, a sereno, whatever? And everyone says the same fucking shit. Oh, I don't bang, but I back it up. I got family, so I back it up. I blah, blah, blah. And they say the same shit and just some pussy ass shit. Never fucking say that they are. But Leon, Leon, right? He's, like, in an actual fucking gang. Like, no bullshit. He actually is in a fucking gang. And I think he's probably the most threatening motherfucker i probably ever met in my life. But he was my boy. We shit talk each other all the time. You know, it's all love, right? He calls me FedEx. I call him Foreskin Wilson. That's a story for another time. But he comes up to me. He's like, he's like hey, hey, FedEx, let me talk to you real quick, bruh. I'm like, all right, what's up, man? He's like, check it out. So he opens his backpack, and he shows me a DVD, which I will, I, I hate myself for not remembering the exact same title, but it went something like Booty Juice 7 or Booty Gag 7. He shows me that shit. I start cracking up. I'm like, what the fuck are you going to do with this, right? So he tells me in, like, the funniest, like, way possible, he tells me, we're going to watch uh, a video in math class. I'm like, and? We go switch this shit. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? We're going to switch this shit. So let me break it down for you. Where me and Leon sit is right under a TV that's mounted to the ceiling. This TV has a VHS and a DVD player attached to it. Literally, if the TV falls or the somebody mounted it wrong and it falls on us, we're going to fucking die. It's this, that big of a fucking TV. So what he tells me is that he's going to do is that he's going to switch the DVD. That's what he's going to do. Because the DVD is already inside because he saw the previous class watch it. So here's the thing. This is the way that it works. We have math class. We go to lunch. We come back to math class and then we go to a different period. That's the way that it works. So I'm like, all right, cool. So we start talking about it. And then like halfway through the class, we're like, I forget all about it until we go to lunch. And I sit in, in the lunch table with my boys. And then, yes, Jane Peso is there. And then Leon starts telling everybody, yo, this is what we're doing. This is what me and FedEx are going to do to class. Because here's the thing. Um, most of my friends, they were in different, like, class, like, classes that they had different you know classes and shit so it was like what we didn't really get to spend that much time each other with each other unless it was like lunchtime or in between classes and shit so that's when jane pest was like nah bruh yeah i ain't go do shit bruh yeah my fuckers too scared but y'all ain't go do shit bruh come on cutty bruh um but fuck this lunchtime shit but let's go to the streets and get me a little thotty scotty too thotty bruh <laughs> literally this is the type of shit he would say not only that, but we're just like, fuck, you know, it, it, like, I'm just like, man, are we really going to do this? Like, people are telling us we'll be fucking legends. People are saying that we're not going to do it. We shouldn't do it, whatever, that it's funny or whatever. He starts showing the disc around or whatever, right? So finally, 
it's recess and we're all just chopping it up and we kind of like all forgot about it in a little way we just like whatever started playing four square started talking about wrestling and shit like that so then it's time for us to line up in class and then leon comes up to me hella fucking sweaty as we're lining up for class and he tells me it's inside the dvd player i'm like what the fuck do you mean it's inside the dvd player like earlier I went around, and I went in the classroom. Nobody was there. I got in there. I popped open the disc. I saw the math um, um, DVD was in there, and I just switched it. I put it, and I pressed stop, and then we're good. I'm like, are you serious? Like, where's, the, where's the math DVD at? He's like, I fucking cracked it, and I threw it over the fence. So there's this spot where that actually you could throw shit, like, over, and it's kind of like this little lake area. So he actually did that shit. So he tells me that, and I'm fucking cracking up. I'm fucking dying in the middle of the line, and like I'm just like, oh god, dude, this shit's really gonna happen. Y'all have no idea how excited I am for this shit to happen. So we sit down, right, and we actually have to move our because our backs are to the the, the TV, right. So we all start moving our desks and stuff, and then freaking leon asks if hey teacher can i go to the bathroom real quick so he goes to the freaking bathroom right and what he does when he goes to the bathroom is that he actually starts like ripping the dvd in half like the box for the dvd because he's we're pretty sure they're gonna check for our back because so he starts just ripping it by pieces and pieces and putting it and just scattering it all over so he got rid of that shit somehow right so, we wait for him to come, right? And the teacher, she starts talking about, us, like, some tests or whatever. And then the class goes on. So, he thought that he was going to, like, be in the bathroom. And, like, they're going to play the DVD right away. But they actually didn't. So, teacher would, like, we did some shit for, like, 25 minutes. Something really quick. And we started talking about the test. So, finally, when Leon comes back, um, teacher says, you know, that we're going to watch a DVD. And this and that or whatever. So, finally... She, like, presses play. <laughs> oh, God. And I'm sitting next to Leon. <laughs> and then he's just with a straight face. I'm with a straight face, too. And then the FBI shit comes up where it says, oh, if you pirate this, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then a trailer comes up. And it's just this dude just plowing this girl's shit. Like, holy fuck. Me and Leon start fucking dying immediately before as everyone is processing what is happening we are fucking dying like what the fuck is going on we're fucking dying and everyone's like what the fuck oh my god like everyone's just reacting my teacher's like what the my my teacher even said what the fuck and it was like whoa 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 you're you're cussing now well what's going on relax relax so she's she's like trying to like stop the movie and like it doesn't stop and then she tries to turn it off and then finally it, it, it turns off and then she like doesn't say a damn word she just gets on the phone and she's all like you know she like she starts asking for the principal and then she walks out the classroom and then where everyone's like oh everyone's going fucking crazy going fucking crazy and we're just fucking dying we're just fucking rolling and then the principal comes and here's the thing i have history with this motherfucker boy do i have history with this motherfucker right so he comes and he tells us to everyone go outside and to bring their backpacks and so we all get our backpacks and we put it on the fucking ground and then one by one he starts going and he makes us empty our backpacks out and shit so he starts going through people's shit. Leon is before me. He goes through Leon's shit. Doesn't find a thing. Right? He does not find a fucking thing. Right? He starts going through my shit. And I'm like trying to be funny, dude. So he goes through my backpack. And what I have in my backpack is a Degeneration X, like, four set DVD. Like, it's just like going through the past of Degeneration X. And I'm like, I swear to you, sir, they're not those naughty films that you think it is. I'm trying to be funny, but he's just not buying my shit. And then he fucking, all right, whatever, right? Because all he found in my backpack was, like, 
comic books and fucking wrestling shit. Because I was really into wrestling, right? And he starts going through other people. And as he's going through other people, the teacher next door comes out, right? And she says that she needs to talk to the principal immediately. So let me tell you what actually happened. Why the teacher from next door came out. And she started, like, coming out panicking, trying to talk to the teacher, to the principal. (laughs) This is fucking, I can't make this shit up. Leon never told me that he had a second disc. He did not tell me shit about this second disc. So the, what what Leon did when he heard that the principal was coming, I didn't even see him doing. He this motherfucker was right next to me. He like stood up, and he slid a disc to the fucking um next next door. So the t so the doors are like connect like each classroom is connected, and there's like a gap on the door. He just slid the disc on the floor to the next classroom. He slides that shit. And guess whose feet it lands under? James fucking Peso. It lands under his feet. And this is what happened. This is what he told me that happens. He's like, listen here, bro. I'm just chilling in my class, right? Just think about some Scotty Two Thotties just to clap up, bro. And all of a sudden, I see some shit shiny on the ground, bro. I pick that shit up. I'm like, what the fuck? Ain't no horse. Hey, what the fuck, bro? Oh, I just came up, bro. And then all of a sudden, Miss Darcy's bitch ass, which is the teacher, Miss Darcy's like, Kenny, what's in your hand? Like, oh, no, bro. I just found this shit right now, bro. And that bitch caught me with the disc, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. I cannot make this shit up. It literally, his dumb ass was looking at it. Oh, it just came up, found the Holy Grail. And then the teacher was staring at him the entire fucking time. Because she is aware of what's going on. So, I have no idea this is even going on. So then they start interviewing us one by one. I didn't fucking break. I, I was, I did not fucking break. Leon didn't fucking break. Nobody fucking broke. They didn't find shit. So, after this class ended... James Peso comes up to me and Leon, and then we're in a group with her fucking boys. He's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Bro? He was pissed. He was so fucking pissed. He was like, what the fuck y'all do that shit for? And they were like, well, what's going on? Come on, what the fuck's going on? It's like, like y'all motherfuckers slid a disc, and it fucking landed right under my feet. And we're fucking rolling, dude. We're fucking just dying. Is how like he's like, I thought, I, bro, I thought I came up, bro. And I'm like, oh my god, you're a fucking idiot. What the fuck? And then Leon got pissed. He was like, you could have had that shit, bro. You could have gave it back to me. What the fuck? So we're just like, man. Wow, this really just, we really got away with this shit. We kept this between the boys because we don't trust none of these motherfuckers. So many fucking rats in our fucking school. We kept this shit between the fucking squad until, of course, when we went to fucking high school and we started letting people know who the fuck it was. A lot of people suspected it to be me, which is like, I, I, don't, I don't think I would have ever had the balls to do that. But Leon was one fun motherfucker. The shit he would do, he would literally hop out windows in the middle of class. He would tell the teacher, he's like, man, you hella born, cuz, I'm out. And he would just dip. And there's so many Leon stories that I could tell you. It's, like, not even funny. Like, the way he would introduce himself, like, all right, what's up, man? My name Leon. I like to play basketball. That's how he would introduce himself. What a fucking G. Thing about Leon is, like, after middle school, like, he fucking vanished. Not even bullshit. He fucking vanished. We have no idea what happened to Leon after freaking middle school. Like, he just vanished. All of our friends from middle school still keep in touch. But Leon, he just vanished. We don't know what happened to him. We didn't know any of his family. Nothing. He just fucking vanished. All we literally have are his amazing fucking memories that he left us with. Wherever he's at, man... I hope he's doing good, because he was, man, he was such a fun fucking dude to hang out with. He literally was one of those that just made everything so much fucking better, you know? And, yeah, it's good times, man. That, that This is not even one of the worst ones. Like, holy shit, dude. The shit that has happened in middle school, I'm, I'm surprised some of this shit, will be, I don't even think it'll be legal for me to say. I really don't. But hopefully you guys enjoy the story. Hallelujah, holla back. Check you bastards later. Deuces.